So hello again everybody, this is Marius Furi. I've just uh, made a video calling, uh, talking about must-have functionality for your solar and backup system. Um, this is a small extent to that video and um, it describes a solution that GreenPro has uh, defined uh, for cases where you have a very large house or where you have a house that's been extended uh, one or more times, and now you have sub-DBs. In other words, you have more than one DB in the house. Um, if you have that, then uh, a problem arises. The first thing is you would always, in a single DB house, you would put this inverter close to your main DB. And that is because you need cabling um, going to and from the inverter um, and you need to be able to feed uh, the non-critical loads as well as the critical loads separately uh, from your inverter. And the reason is because this is, uh, is for solar and batteries. This is for solar power only. Um, so you need two cables and those cables typically has to be, call it 16 millimeter thick. So it's a fairly thick cable. And now you find that your conduits does not make provision for putting in additional cables uh, because every electrician makes it his mission to make sure that there's no spare space in your DB board and in your conduits that run in the wall. Uh, I don't know why, but that is something that they just do. It's in their nature. Um, so now you have a problem if you have sub DBs to get, net, to get connected to your sub DBs in a way that um, you don't have to run uh, big cables to your sub DBs. Um, so let's just go through a summary of the additional requirements that you have if you have uh, more than one DB in your house. Uh, you need two feeds to each of the sub DBs. That's the first problem you have. Uh, because you still want to maintain the benefit on solar for both DBs. In other words, um, yeah, you, you want to save power. Let's say you've got one upstairs and one downstairs or outside flat or something. You want the benefit of solar in both um, those uh, parts of the house. And um, on the critical loads, you still want the battery backup. Um, another important feature that most people you know, it's a bit of a technical one, so most people won't understand it, is if you just say, I'm going to put all my critical loads, or my non-critical loads, I'm going to connect them to my critical loads on the, on the sub-DB, uh, then you could exceed the capacity of the loads on this inverter. Because this inverter, for example, if we just take, I think, the Victron here, uh, you can, for example, have, I think, in the relays, they can switch about 60 amps. Um, 60 or 80, I'm not sure. Um, but if you're on battery power, you can only feed 20 amps out of this. So you can't just take everything and put it there. Then you overload your inverter um, when, um, yeah, because you've got a geezer, a stove even maybe, or whatever uh, on your inverter. So you've got to make sure that you don't exceed the capacity of all loads. Um, but you want all loads when there's not load shedding. So it becomes a bit of a complicated problem. And GreenPro has looked at this problem for a, for a while. And we defined a solution that um, puts some switching around the system. So it embeds the system in a separate um, a set of switching devices. And then it solves the problem and it gives you the ability to do all that. Um, by having a very small connection to the uh, non-critical and the critical loads in the sub-DVs, uh, it's in fact just a, a control wire that we run to them and then we install a, a, a smallish device um, in the sub-DVs and we install a smallish device in your main DV. So um, if you talk to Green Pro Consulting about your solar and backup system and you have that requirement, uh, that is simply an additional uh, 
a piece of functionality that we can offer over and above the normal inverter system.